Hello and welcome to Baltic Edition. Today I'm going to show you how you can take full advantage of the free stuff that is out there from Cisco. I'm going to start by showing you how Cisco Jabber video for telepresence works and how you can get it. To get started, what you need to do is you need to point your browser to ciscojabbervideo.com and once you're here, on the lower right hand corner, you will see a link that says Get Jabber Video. Please click on that one. Then you are prompted to put in a lot of details about who you are, um, your company name, what country you are from and to create a password. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to show you how the downloading procedure starts. Now, I'm going to pause here because this is important. The email address that you're going to give here is the email address that will be used for verifying that you are the person who's actually downloading um, the video software. So be careful with this one. You want to do uh, is also to create a password that you might want to remember when logging in. So I'm going to do one here called. Let's see if I get it right. Yes, and the video address you're going to use, I would recommend that you use your first name and last name. Um, and if that is taken, that you use some sort of um, video address that will identify you as the person who is using the software. I'm going to go and choose Baltic Edition. And then you check the availability. You put in some uh, more security things here. You agree with the terms. And then basically you sign up. And what will happen in a few minutes or so is that you're going to get an email uh, with more information on how to download the link and to verify that you are in fact the user who just created the the username and password. Here you click on this link and you start installing the software. And now as you can see the download has begun and we'll start uh, installing the software. Okay and once you're done with the download and installation of the software you, know, you can actually start by uh, logging into Jabber Video. So you do that by putting in your username, remember that at jabber.com you put in your password and you sign in. And once you're signed in, this is the user interface you will have. The more people you have as contacts in your directory here, uh, the more people will actually show up. I just installed the software so I have no contacts whatsoever. But I, you know what, I, I can actually go in and check the settings before I start making a video call. You do that by clicking on this little button here, clicking on settings. Um, and I would recommend that you tick both these boxes. You sign in automatically, hence you don't, don't really have to remember the password. Um, and that you start Jabber Video whenever you log into your computer. Um, the bandwidth, I would recommend yanking it up to max the audio part, you choose which microphone you're going to use. The video uh, source itself, uh, pretty important. And then you're good to go, really. So I'm going to show that by typing in a, uh, a video address. It's the uh, actual video endpoint I have here in the room, which is this one. And I'm going to make a call. Putting myself on mute. And I'm here. Now, this is how simply uh, you make a video call using Jabber Video. Thanks for watching. See you.